it uh, yeah no it's it's heated in here and i like it like this the temperature the temperature must yeah it must be like this gentlemen let's speak yeah look uh, my brother let's yeah. let, let's explain a few things before before we get accused of uh, being reactionary hmm. <laughs> one is that we are not arguing against the um, good work that is done by ordinary people in South Africa. So we must be able to separate um, genuine um, um, you know, work that is from loving people mm. and, and, and separate that from the work that is done by the rich or by the ruling class who own and have the capacity to can actually resolve some of the problems we have in society, but use this thing to, you know, at, to get media attention. Use this thing um, to probably, um, you know, get away from a tax man's um, um, uh, um, what we call hair. We, we I, I personally have a problem with two things in this case. Why Mandela? Why Mandela did? Are we, are we building a personality cult? Are, are we saying that uh, it is only proper that it is called Mandela? Why are we not calling it um, a, you know, a, a day where we address the social problems in the society? But the reason we can't call it anything else but a personality cult is because we want to do away with the real, I mean, we want to avoid the real issue. Now, in this case, I'm going to submit this scenario. If you arrive in hospital, and find a patient. You don't get to the patient and say to him, let me um, just uh, keep treating you but not cure the disease. You, you attempt to cure the disease, right? Mm -hmm. now, now, if you cure the disease, the, the patient would not come back to the hospital for the same problem. But in this case, Mandela Day, as, 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 as displayed by media to start with, it's not an attempt to cure the problems in the society. It is an attempt to say, we are meeting again next year for 67 minutes, and we shall be meeting in the next 10 years. Now you have your corporates, you have your big companies that go out in the communities to, to give, give away groceries of, of 10,000 or 5,000 or 6,000. Mm -hmm. that, that, I mean, the poor will appreciate that. I mean, I, I do not want to throw away the bathwater with the baby in this case. But they, the poor will appreciate that because they do not eat these people. They do not have anything. They, they lie on the streets on empty stomachs. So they will appreciate that. But what we are attempting to deal with is what necessitated that. You see, Martin Luther once said, philanthropy must be appreciated. It's a good uh, cause. But philanthropy that does not seek to address uh, or transform the economy then it's a problem. So we do not then say, um, let's go out and clean the streets, and that's all, right? Mm. If Mandela Day could be a South African Economic Dialogue Day, mm. right, where we all say we are assembling in, in, in any way where we can pick the, bl the blame and say we have not yet transformed the economy of this country, and as a result of that, people still cry for housing, people still cry for jobs, people still cry for a lot of things that even if you may call this day the Clark Day, the poor will open their hands and receive the grocery. Even if you may call it Fairwood Day, the poor will open their hands and receive the groceries. So uh, it would leave the name Mandela out of this and deal with the crisis at hand. And that is why I'm saying cure the disease and rescue the patient from the crisis he is in than to every day visit the patient and say, you will be well as long as you are happy that I'm coming to see you. And that is why this is really you know, emotional to say, um, um, I, I, I really don't like uh, the, 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 the day being called a Mandela Day because it seeks to reduce the whole struggle to mean suddenly people are liberated by Mandela and as a result they are receiving groceries. There are many prisoners, um, I mean revolutionaries who died and who lived, I mean, who fought for the, for the freedom of this particular country. But they can't be honored. But that, that, is, a, that is a subject for another day as well. All, all I'm just saying to you is that this day must not be an attempt 
um, uh, for, for media to divert from the social challenges that we are facing as the society. We must deal with the real issues, and the real issues are that South Africa is hitting for a brain. South Africa is on the edge of collapsing if we do not address the economic injustice that was done to this particular country by colonialism and apartheid itself. Yeah, no, overlate. Uh, uh, Africa or my yeah, no, I, 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 I will advise you not, to, hot, not to invite me with this uh, son of the soil in the studio. It, it, it makes it to be very, very personal and serious. <laughs> yeah. But um, I, I, will, I, will, I will make my input uh, in addition of what he said. You see, we, we have reached a point as a nation whereby we are suffering from intellectual cowardice. We are not bold enough to sit down and engage issues in the core sense of the truth. Instead, as a nation, we are caught up into festivities and events. It's as good as you being a father, having a wife in the house. Instead of dealing with the fact that your wife had a miscarriage and kids are disappointed, are disappointed, you take them to McDonald's and they eat, they celebrate for five minutes, and they come back to the very same situation of relapse, emotionally. That's what South Africans are doing. Every year, like he said with the patient, we are having this celebration and everyone will be posting on social media, this and that and that. But the question is one, after this, have we given the nation a direction? Yeah. The national, the state resources were supposed to be pumped into creating platforms. People are supposed to be gathering in, in, in schools everywhere. At least one government official from up there sent down there to do, to hear what the people had to say. Which direction do they want to take? But no, because we are having an escapist approach. We found a scapegoat being an event called 67 Minutes. Yeah. And I will tell you this, this does not become a solution. Because honestly speaking, you give me food to eat one day. What? What about a day after tomorrow? Hmm. Now we've got a caller. Let's take this one. You're live on Swan. Good morning. I'm very good, Sen. How are you? Oh, hey, welcome twice. We've been waiting for you. Yeah, I've been, I've been struggling to, to get through. Uh, but I'm, I'm grateful that I'm finally here. I might not have captured some of the points that uh, our guest on Steve has uh, already shared with listeners. Uh, but my view is that uh, we should let this day be. We should not even try to criticize this day. Uh, because there are other days where which uh, 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 there are national holidays. And they are not being criticized like what criticized in this day. I'll tell you for sure of uh, June 16. If you can see how June 16 is being celebrated, with young people going all out to go and party, drink alcohol, and it, it, it's not getting so much criticism as this particular day. On this day, we should all ensure that we, we go all out into communities. We assist those that we can be able to assist. Because it's yes. on this day where some organization makes resources available. I'm speaking on the basis that we, we are normally on the street. We don't do this. I, 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 I'm glad that uh, both your speakers are not uh, people who are only doing uh, social responsibility on this day only. They also do it uh, throughout the year. They will then bear testimony that it's tough trying to feed the hungry, the cold on the street uh, when you don't have resources. So we must then appreciate we must then appreciate that even those that uh, have, and they normally want to have more when people have less, they are available today to assist us to come on to these things. And the question of us saying we must then have a national dialogue on how we can deal with the issue of the economy, it's correct. But the question is, when we are busy sitting in those particular conferences, we still going to enrich the rich, because there will come a person who is going to cater them. That person is going to be paid. The common person is going to decorate. That person is going to be paid. How does that immediately assist that person who is on the street? 
uh, uh, there's a need for us to really dialogue on, on the on the question of, of the economy. Then what can the twenty sixteen into that? Because who are the youth who are the ones who are the custodian of the future? Then let's take twenty sixteen into that particular day and focus on the economy. But as for this day, let's make it peace. Let's assist those that are on the street. And I'm glad that most people are going on the street, one, because if you, you, you were to go there, uh, Mr. Karakara, for the first time, I'm telling you, you will see a situation that will invite you to come again. So this, this thing on its own, we must use it as an incorrect time for those that uh, uh, have not been on the street. Well, the question of uh, why should it be called Mandela, uh, uh, the, the, why the, the, the heads are using it as, a, as, a, as an issue of publicity is an answer. People are hungry, people are on the street. When it favors us, we are then saying, uh, we must go out, out and assist. We know we are not resourced. And we know what we do. We always go on the street, we give people soup and bread, uh, and use blankets. You know, today is their Christmas. Let's allow them to enjoy the Christmas. Though it comes once a uh, uh, day, but let's also ensure that those that are doing this on daily basis, they go all out uh, to also work with those that are, are, are using it for publicity sales to say, look, let's form alliances that you guys are going to sponsor us. Because we know that as the King's Code too, and as the King's Code, that all the, 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 the clause that speaks on social responsibility. So let's speak to the companies that are showing willingness to sponsor us, then we'll give them publicity so that we will assist our people. The issue of, of, of politics on the question of empty stomach, please, man, let's wait a bit on it. But I'm saying if we want to dialogue on this thing, I'm available and I'm encouraging it. Let's do it on June 16th. Let's cancel the, the, the ugly celebration of, of that day and then dialogue on the question of, of the economy. Thank you, man. Uh, just before we let you go, I'm loving it. Uh, I need to say, do you know the advert yeah, McDonald's saying, oh, I'm <coughs> loving it. I'm loving the fact that, thank you, Mr. Mohani, for being uh, actually objective about what you believe in. And yeah, the mood is high now. In fact, in actual fact, uh, you know what? Uh, wh when you drop the phone, we're going to call you back again so that you can be a part of us uh, in studio. How far are you to join us in studio now? Okay. No, it's fine. We'll call you again. Uh, let's allow the gentleman to respond. Yeah, uh, they are bending. In fact, they are fighting. Okay, no, you are, you know, start. More Africa, start. Because I'm see, I mean, you are fighting with Jonas. Start. Yeah, no, you see, I, I, I think there has been a serious misunderstanding on his part. Yeah. We never said we discourage people from. Okay. Call has been placed on hold. Yeah. yeah, no, you can continue. It's fine. Oh. Uh, we 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 are not we are not necessarily discouraging people from being part of this day. Mm -hmm. Remember, we, we he even quoted that the philanthropy is very important. We need that. People must be philanthropists, and we cannot discourage the good deeds of a good man meaning well. We are saying this was not supposed to be encouraged as just a day to clean the streets and to sweep the toilets. Hmm. There is more that can be done. We appreciate that this is done, and many people mean well with it. They create time for such, especially today being Saturday. But then we are coming again to say, after this, there could have been a far much better platform that is prepared to debate the issues, to give the nation a direction. Mm. And now coming to use June 16 in line with this, it's a bit irrelevant. Remember that in June, man, we hear even the president giving the youth what was well, somewhere here in uh, Mamelodi. Yeah, in, trying to address issues. The youth parliament, that's when we start to hear about it for the first time and we forget about them. But the truth of the matter is one the issues are trying to be addressed. The celebration will always be celebration. That's why I told you that we are a nation that has intellectual and psychological uh, cowardice. We escape into events and festivities, we escape as well into just celebration. So that, on its own, needs to be addressed. We can't reduce this to 67 minutes of cleaning toilets. We need to take this now and put it on a point whereby we talk and give the government a mandate as the people. Hmm. Abu Delmon. Yeah, look. Uh, and you're responding to your friend. Yeah, look, I'm responding to a friend, a mentor, a brother. But and also, I'm responding to South Africa. And you're against what he's saying. Because his views are mainly views of the majority of our people in this country. Hmm. And I'll tell you this. You see, Noam Chomsky, 
in manufacturing concerns. He, he clearly, um, you know, has articulated his views.